Mamma Mia, here we go again. That's right, folks. Today, we're talking about everyone's favorite Oscar-winning actress, Meryl Streep. Whether she's girl-bossing her way through the head of the fashion world in The Devil Wears Prada or commanding whole fleets as Princess Leia in Star Wars, the 73-year-old actress is a cultural force to be reckoned with. Shockingly, not everyone agrees. So let's take you through some shocking moments in Streep's life. First up, Kong vs. Streep. Now, it's no secret that Meryl Streep is a stunning actress, along with her out of this world acting skills. However, not everyone has been a fan of the actress, who, while playing a game on The Graham Norton Show, recalled how she was rejected for a role in the 1976 remake of King Kong because, apparently, she wasn't pretty enough. Yeah, we know. We can't believe it either. The story goes that the son of director Dino De Laurentiis, who was casting for King Kong, was eager for Streep to be given one of the leading roles for the film. However, Mr. Carantis clearly had other plans. Upon meeting Meryl Streep, he pulled his son to the side and essentially called her an ugly thing in Italian. Yikes. Unfortunately for him, one of Meryl's many talents is the ability to understand Italian, so she quickly fired back by apologizing for being too ugly for his monkey movie. Suffice it to say, Miss Streep moved on to bag a record number of Academy Award nominations, and Dina De Laurentiis ended up letting one of Hollywood's biggest stars slip right through his fingers. Streep clearly still holds a bit of grudge too, given the way she says the title of the movie in the interview. Phew! Moving on, we look back at a Streep cult classic, The Deer Hunter. It probably shouldn't come as a surprise to most people that, coming off her rejection for King Kong, Streep received her first Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress for her role in Michael Cimino's The Deer Hunter, a film about the impacts of the Vietnam War on the average worker. Not only did Meryl Streep knock it out of the park in terms of her acting in the film alone, but it's even more impressive when you consider the fact that she was so noticeable while playing a woman in what was a essentially, an anti-war movie for guys. In an interview with Miss Magazine in 1975, just a few years after her rejection from Kong, Meryl talks about the journey she took to portray Linda. Streep opens up about the sheer amount of creative freedom she was given for one simple reason. She didn't have a really important role in the first place anyway. Here, she flexed her acting chops by taking the freedom she was given to make her own dialogue in order to turn an almost silent character into one that got her nominated for an Oscar and even won her a National Society of Film Critics Award for Best Supporting Actress. We guess we know who got the last laugh between her and Mr. Carantis. Next, we got a masterclass on how to handle rejection. Shockingly enough, the King Kong incident isn't the only time Meryl Streep got snubbed for a role and made the best of it. Now, Meryl was a fan of two people, singer Patsy Cline and director Carol Rice, whom she worked with before in the 1969 film The French Lieutenant's Woman. Upon hearing both of these elements were coming together for the film Sweet Dreams, it's no surprise that the actress jumped at the opportunity to be cast. Unfortunately, if wishes were coins, we'd all be millionaires, so we guess even actual millionaires have to take a couple of unfulfilled wishes now and then. The role ultimately went to Jessica Lange, who did an amazing job playing the singer for the biopic, something that Meryl agrees with, saying, that was such a great movie. She was beyond wonderful in it. Way to take a loss like a champ. Now, we did call it masterclass, so Meryl's gracefulness doesn't end there. Not only was she extremely supportive of Rise's decision, but she even stayed in the director's house in London, where she stayed while filming her iconic role in Plenty, a film she counts as one of her happiest memories. So not only can Meryl Streep take a setback like a champ, she can even turn it into an opportunity to help out another role. Coming up, what's next for Meryl Streep? Clearly, Meryl Streep's made a pretty huge name for herself in Hollywood's Hall of Fame. But what's she been up to recently, and what's next? Well, for one, she was scouted to play the lead role in Netflix's The Laundromat, alongside a star-studded cast that included industry legends such as Gary Oldman, Antonio Banderas, Jeffrey Wright, Sharon Stone, Robert Patrick, and even Dave Schwimmer of Friends fame. While the movie didn't have great reviews, many people enjoyed Streep's performance. In 2020, she starred in the comedy drama film Let Them All Talk, alongside stars Gemma Chang, Candace Bergen, Diane West, and Lucas Hedges. Interestingly enough, the film really let Meryl Streep flex her comedy muscles since most of the dialogue in the movie was improvised by the cast themselves, something that audiences
audiences clearly enjoyed, and Entertainment Weekly gave it an A minus while praising Screep's performance to high heaven. And that's all we have for you today about all the adversities that Meryl Streep faced and overcame during her world famous career. Now let's move on to some other related news. In other news, first up, Meryl Streep gives a heartwarming credit to Robert De Niro. Lights illuminated the entire sky during the 2022 Austin Gala, but these weren't your everyday kinds of stars. No, Hollywood's Who's Who showed up to honor the life of and works of actor Robert De Niro in a celebration of film gala to celebrate him and his De Niro curator of film endowment. Meryl was present at the occasion and gave a truly heartfelt speech in admiration for the actor, even outright calling him one of her biggest acting inspirations from the moment she watched the film Mean Streets, effectively calling him one of the most talented actors we've been blessed to see in our times. But Streep didn't just stop at paying respect to De Niro's acting and even talked about the humanitarian work the 79-year-old actor has done in his life, such as his aid in the rescue and rebuilding operations after the September 11 attacks. She even credited him with helping bring people back to Lower Manhattan through projects like his co-founding of the Tribeca Film Festival in 2002. Next up, does Meryl Streep think method acting is a sham? We've all heard about method acting here and there, from Heath Ledger's diary-keeping obsession for the role of the Joker to Daniel Day-Lewis's absolute refusal to go out of character for Lincoln, even when the cameras had stopped rolling. Experienced as she is, Meryl Streep is no stranger to method acting but has pretty strong views on it that aren't all positive. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Streep reveals that she actually did some method acting for the role of Miranda Priestly in The Devil Wears Prada, but that the experience basically made her swear off the practice forever purely because of how straight up awful it made her feel. For her part, her method acting consisted of staying in character at all times as the cold, distant Miranda. She effectively isolated herself from her friends and co-workers to the point that she didn't let herself spend any time around them after shooting was done for the day. This means she was all alone in her trailer while her co-stars had a great time together. Describing the experience as depressing, that was pretty much the method acting breaking point from Meryl Streep, who has never tried the practice again. Finally, Streep puts her money where her mouth is and confirms support for the next writer's lab. Nowadays, way too many celebrities try to skate into people's good books by giving lip service to being woke and wanting empowerment. But Meryl Streep is someone that does exactly what she says when she fights for women's empowerment, as she affirms support for the 8th edition of The Writer's Lab, a project supporting women screenwriters over the age of 40. Streep first funded The Writer's Lab back in 2015, and since then, it's basically been a haven for potential female screenwriters in Hollywood, giving them an opportunity to get their scripts noticed by some of the biggest names in an industry that ordinarily would look right over them for more glitz and glamour. We wonder if Meryl Streep gets tired of being too real sometimes, but it must be effortless for her, since not only does she play strong women on the screen who inspire millions, but she is also an inspiration to women everywhere. So there you have it folks, your one-stop shop for all your Meryl Streep news for the day. If you liked our content, make sure to like, hit that subscribe button, and absolutely obliterate that bell notification icon. See you all next time.